Right, hello. I'm recording a philosophy self oriented video, I guess, because I have nothing better to do. If I do, but I just can't be asked to do it at the moment. So, uh, yeah, today I'm kind of aiming to go over my motivations for this video, what maybe future videos may likely be about um, so yeah I don't have much of an intention I guess it's just going to be a lot of the time this kind of spew of conscious thought I guess um, in the future I do aim to have some sort of like plan subjects topics etc but at the moment it's more a an outlet for I'd say intellect if I say intellect and it sounds pretentious but by intellect I just mean an outlet of thought I guess defining thought as intellect is pretentious but I don't know uh, I'll shut the fuck up about that so motivations um, one, stop saying, um, stop using fillers in sentences. So that's a, is a, a, an opportunity to develop personal speaking traits. Um, so self development, I guess. That's kind of a byproduct of it. It's not a prime intention, prime motivator. Uh, motivator would be some sort of I guess more of an apt word is a creative outlet but it's more the sense that it clears my mind talking like journaling clears my mind so this is essentially journaling but I don't want it to be just journaling I don't want it to be all about you know I don't want it to be so egotistical and it won't be I don't want it to be reflective Personally, anyway, personally reflective uh, in that um, personally is not the right word because obviously reflective is personally, but it doesn't have to be. But anyway, I don't want to use explicit examples about upon reflection, upon reflecting. Um, so, yeah, another motivator is I guess this is a byproduct, for, a byproduct of my. A consequence of my general anxiety in life I guess I don't have so much social connection so I guess even if it's just a camera and no comments or whatever or one comment it's a means of socializing that sounds really weak but it's a um, yeah I guess that's what it is there's no, there's no excuse for that. It's a, it's a, an alternative, I guess, to face-to-face -face interaction. Even though I do like that, and I do get some of that, but that's what this is, essentially. Um, um, insecurity, potentially. In that. Um, having, I don't know, insecurity, anxiety, kind of anxiety, maybe a by byproduct of insecurity, sometimes, maybe, so that might be a reason, but consciously, what I can say with confidence is wanting some sort of outlet for mental spew, and wanting some sort of way to engage in a even if it's primarily one way, some sort of dialogue uh, when I want it to occur, essentially. And then, yeah, then the, uh, there's a self development part, which is kind of a uh, byproduct or whatever. So, I guess one thing we can talk about is self development. That's interesting. Because I've 
done that or tried that or however you want to call it for a few nearly three years and what do i mean by <clears throat> i've done self-development for nearly three years inconsistent i guess or consciously it'd be inconsistently but unconsciously it's probably you know you have your habits which are, can be meditating or you know waking up early or going to the gym and lifting heavier shit up off the ground and pulling it back down again that's self-development i guess consciously i mean writing down things to do and having different types of having different methodologies for habit tracking and whatever and reading shit self-development books because unfortunately i do that and there are some not so fun consequences that come along with that if you don't have the right mindset which obviously might need uh, some work on but that's name of the game in it progress growth so yeah i was talking about how the source of self-development motivation i guess for me it was i don't like using the word depression it's a bit of a uh, thrown about it's normalized so i disapprove of the normalization of depression um i was just in a rut i guess a deep a deep rut consistently for most of my life i was mediocre you know that's what i guess it was purely mediocre insecure feared social interaction bloody bloody blah and i guess it was the somehow it was a realization that it doesn't have to be like that. That's I defined myself as that sort of guy, and thus I lived like that sort of guy because that was my identity. That's how I defined myself. That's how I identified myself. So <clears throat> that's where the motivation for self development come, came from. But if we look behind take a step back look at it from a more general perspective then can we say that self-development has sprung far from a decline in a decline in general levels of productivity and no, no. Hmm. I think a lot of um, male self-development springs from the war, war, war on masculinity over the past half century. Fucking hell, more than that. Seventy years, seven, seventy-five years. Yeah, since since the Second World War, or maybe before. I don't know. I'm not well versed in the art of masculinity. I'm not overly researched or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, I think it's sprung. I think that's that's where that's one source. That's, that's one influencing factor. And I think that I guess it's somewhat innate in that. If you don't have the strongest father figure, then it's something you biologically crave. You know, it's innate, it's programmed. I guess that's see that's what that's the difficulty I've been having recently. Trying to source um, anxieties like, especially ones which are, you know, fundamental. So let's take sex for example. If you're not getting a lot of sex and you want it, is that a um, does that urge derive from biology or social conditioning? You know what I mean? That's something I'm very interested in, I guess. Like, because there's, there's MGTOW, right? And at the moment, I do believe that we do have some natural desire to procreate. Um, but I think it's mainly amplified significantly by social conditioning, social media, 
uh, advertising. Those two are prime. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Social media and media in general, films, from what we've seen as a kid growing up. Um, so I think that if you can unlearn these behaviours, or not behaviours, these norms, then you live much freer and you don't have to be so needy or so desiring of women and sex. But that's not to say that those things shouldn't be enjoyed um, or, or strived for, for they are enjoyable, are they not? So it's balance, self-awareness of knowing if they are consuming your life and if they are consuming your life then you get a fucking mission, get you, you know, and that's obviously, that's something else I've been like, well, get a mission, easier said than done mate, without self-doubt, especially. Um, but yeah, where am I going with this? Sources of self improvement. Well, we kind of covered man, biology. So, essentially, to round that up, it's man's desire for sex. And I think that's the same with weightlifting and the gym and getting into good shape. The danger with that is seeking external validation and that's a progressive um, task of undoing I guess you can't just go no social media no external validation we well, might be able to props to you if you can I can't you know it's gradual you relapse and go back onto Instagram or whatever but yeah and then I think once you get to the point where you're happy with who you are or bullshit, happy with the progress you've made or more comfortable in your own skin, more secure with yourself, then you may find that, you know, it's not all singing and dancing, women and sex or whatever, and that there are more joyful, joy bringing things in life. Um, it's just that we've been conditioned, I believe, to be always strive for more. The pressures kind of been put on us and on us externally, than it is put on us internally because of this. Yeah, I'm just talking shit now. This is how most of these are going to go. I'm, I reckon. Don't know what I even said in this. It's just spew. Maybe some structure in the future, but I can't. I, do, I don't want to just do one of these and go, What the fuck was that? Delete, you know, upload it, get two views, whatever. It's some kind of outlet, and if I, you know, I think it does more good than harm in any regard, especially if I can be secure and accepting of having this out there. But yeah, banner in a bit.